If you haven't yet sold your right kidney for the Adobe Suite and you're still using Canva, not to worry. In this episode, I'll show you how to create an ebook banner without using a single Canva template. Let's get started. Yeah, baby. Hello and welcome to another episode of Under Budget Marketing Design. My name is Richard and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create an ebook template inside Canva without even using a template. I know, it sounds crazy. Um, if you are new to Canva, this is a little bit of a, not really a beginner video. I'm assuming you have some sort of knowledge with Canva. Um, if you don't, um, still feel free to kind of follow along. I don't think Canva is that hard to use, but there are a hundred thousand different uh, Canva tutorial videos online. So um, check that out. If you want to come back to this video, um, you're always welcome. So uh, we're going to dive in. So what we're going to do is we have Canva open and what we're going to do now is just create a new design. So we're going to go to custom design. And from here, we're going to be designing for Twitter. Um, this Twitter banner is going to get people to download my ebook and I'm super excited about that. You should be super excited about that too. So uh, I think the, the template, I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm going to do 1040 by 584. I believe that's the most current um, image size that Twitter supports. I could be wrong. They probably even have bigger, but we're just going to design for that. So what we're going to do next. Now we have all these cool templates and they're, they're nice. They're really well designed um, and they have some flexibility to them, but we're better than that. We're gonna go above and beyond because, you know, for instance, company A could be using this and then mommy blog could be using this and then there's really no, there's something that sets your company apart from everyone else. You're kind of just using what everyone else is doing. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is not bad. You can definitely use this, but we want to stand out from everyone else. And although we might not have the tools like Adobe Cloud or Photoshop or Adobe XD, this is this is a solution for now. And this is what we're going to work with. All right. So first things first is I want to add some sort of element here to ground all my information. Uh, I'm going to have my logo here. I'll have the the description of the ebook, uh, which I believe will go over here. And I'll have some sort of like blob going over here. Um, but first things first, let's, let's find that blob or that jelly bean. Um, here you have a whole bunch of different, you know, options. They have stock, you know, flowers and kitty cats and watermelons and, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, but I want a blob and I see we have some blobs here. So I'm going to go to see all and I kind of like this one. So I'm just going to click and it'll just appear on my, my canvas, um, or my artboard, whatever this is called. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand it out because I want it to kind of fill this whole section here. Let's see if I can go a little bigger. Let's go a little bigger. That's cool. Something like that maybe. Let's bring in more. I think I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and just kind of place it there and then maybe expand it a little bit more. Something like that maybe could work. Yeah. I'm happy with that, I guess. That's fine. Actually, no, let's, let's expand it a little bit more. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of taking the, the points here and then just kind of just bringing them in and out to proportion, or it's proportionally scaling it down. Um, and this is just kind of, yeah, scaling it up and down. I just want to fit it where I want it. And I know that I'm going to have a decent amount of, um, of information here, so I want to make sure that I have enough space there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cheat this. So I this blob has this, you know, this little organic shape here. So we have this this white space, which I don't want. I want it to be all um, orange in my case. Right now it's red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make another square and I'm just gonna put him over here and I'm just gonna fake it. We'll just fake it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, let's see if I can, over here okay so I have some colors already chose what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open it up in Adobe XD let's just bring this in here 
And these are my colors that I've chose. Um, I'm just gonna eye drop it just to get the sample color here. The hex, the hex color, excuse me. And then I'm gonna come back over here. And you can choose whatever colors you want. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna choose these because I created this little fake brand called Yoga Nation. And Yoga Nation has their own little style. Um, but again, you know, you work for a company, you know your, your, your brand identity. And from there, you can, you know, just adjust this, I guess, adjust your, your project, right? But if you're following along, just kind of go with it, right? So here we go. We have these, this nice little moss green color. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to add my, my logo in here. Let me just minimize this. And I have the Yoga Nation logo. I'm just going to drop them in there. Canva's going to realize that I put them in there. And... Here she is. I'm gonna bring her down in size. Again, we're just taking little points and then just kind of dragging in and out to um, to scale proportionally. Uh, as I don't know if you notice it, if you kind of just like drag this element around, Campbell will be like, hey, you're inside of the safe space, which is this, this color here, this little box. Um, it's okay to kind of go beyond it. Um, but yeah. That's, that's a cool little feature they have there so you kind of keep everything with inside the, the legibility or with, with inside of the the safe area, the legible area. Um, I want to point something out. Uh, if you are going to be designing uh, with inside of, of, of Canva or just in general, um, even in Photoshop or, or Adobe InDesign, anything really, it's it's important to have your logo be legible. Now the YN is, is very legible, but this little element going on here is not so legible. So for this example, um, I'm just gonna run with it, but always when creating a logo, legibility is key, right? Legibility, legibility, legibility. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, now that I have the logo in there, I'm going to start filling it in with um, some information about the, the ebook, right? So if I go to the left side, the hand, left hand side here, we have this little text box here. Now I'm going to choose a, a font that would um, play well with the YN logo. Um, Canva has a whole bunch of really well curated logo, or not logo, um, text combinations. Um, and some of them are really good, some of them are, are kind of not my, my liking, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just search for me organic. See that shows up. So I actually like this this combination with the YN logo here. So I'm gonna plop them in there, just click and drag. I think you can just click it and he'll just kind of pop up in there. And we're going to scale down. I'm gonna scale this dude down like this. And we'll just expand them out there. And what I wanna do is I wanna ungroup him. So if over here in this, this uh, right hand side here he was initially grouped so if I just undo you'll see that we have the ungroup section here this little ungroup button so just click that it'll ungroup it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling this in with information so I'm gonna type in yoga for I don't know the everyday mom something like that and then I'm gonna bring this dude down and I think I'm gonna bump this font up. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna bump him up to, let's see, 42. 42 is fine, I think 42 is fine. And then I'm going to drop him down, drop this down, like so. And here I'm gonna fill in some more information to support the, the main copy up here. And it'll say, Simple, eh, I don't want it all caps. Simple, uh, let's say simple yoga poses to calm your mind and strengthen your body. And that looks about right. Uh, this font is a little bit too big, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump him down. Let's bump him down to maybe 
18. 18 is fine. That's actually a decent, a decent size. Simple yoga poses to calm your mind and strengthen your body. That looks good. Now, I don't want this to be white. It could be white. It doesn't look bad in white, but I want to use this off yellow, off white thing I got going on over here. So I'm going to go back to Canva, or not Canva, Adobe XD. What am I doing? And then I'm just going to sample that color, copy them over, and then we're going to click on this little text color. And then from here, you have new color, and then just type in your hex code. Boom. And then we'll do the same uh, over here. The cool thing about Canva is once you start adding colors, um, as you design, Canva will then pick them up and then just add them to your document colors, which is really useful, helpful, saves time too. So we're gonna put that there. And now we have this this nice this nice little tinge of yellow. It's, it's like, it looks nice, it looks nice. Um, so now what I wanna do is I wanna add a CTA, because um, I'm assuming the person on LinkedIn or Twitter or wherever is gonna click on the image and then that will then link them to my landing page where the person can fill out the form and then download the ebook and then they get sent in the funnel, right? Um, so I don't think Canva has like UI elements. Um, that'd be a nice feature to have maybe in the future. I don't know why you would design UI, you know, interfaces in uh, Canva, but it's nice to have um, pre-made buttons or something like that for this instance, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just create my own real quick. So we go to over here to shapes. And then from shapes, I want something with a rounded edge. So this guy is fine. I'm going to bring him down to about, I guess, what, like, let's do, let's do 65 pixels, I think it was. No, let's bump up a little more. Let's do 70, 70 is fine. And then I'll just bring them out to, let's say, let's say, uh, let's do two, two forty four. Two forty four is fine. And then I'm just gonna bring this guy up a little bit. You can also use your arrow keys to kind of nudge things up and down, just kind of fine tune things within Canva. And I want this to be a a more uh, a more impactful color because right now it's not super impactful. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the the element selected. Come over here, to this little box, and then I'm just gonna choose I guess this color here. That looks pretty pretty good. It's yelling at you. And what I want to do is I want to use the same font. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to just copy him over. Uh, on the Mac, it is Command C. I don't know what it is on your Windows. Um, figure that out. Um, and then the call to action would be, I guess, download now. And that's fine. I'm going to bring this in a little bit because it doesn't need to be shooting out so far. And then I'm just going to kind of center him with inside that box. Something like that should be fine. Okay. Now I want to have some sort of other color behind this this moss green. Um, I don't want the whites. I, I think I might actually just use this orange. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another element. I'm just going to add a square again. Oh, I made it orange. Look at that. And I'm going to just adjust him. Just bring him out to about there. There we go. And then we're going to send him to the back. Uh, for Mac, it is actually I don't know what it is for that. If I right-click it, ah, there we go. If I right-click it, we can just send it to back. Boom, it's been sent to back. Uh, and now we have this nice, this nice little orange going on here. Um, I know I want to add some other little elements to kind of tie everything in with the whole organic feel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose some elements real quick. Uh, let's go to elements over here. And we'll type in, I don't know, leaf. And I kind of like this guy, so we'll put him in here. We'll just make him like a an off-white, and we'll lower his opacity to like 45. That's fine. I'm going to copy and paste him over here. 
And then I'm going to rotate him. Nice and big. Maybe somewhere over here, like that. And like this. I even think 45 is too much. Let's do uh, 25. The same for this guy, 25. We want them to just be there. We don't want them to take away from the information. This is the main, the main, this is where you want, this is where you want the, the viewer's eyes to go to. You don't want them to look at this little leaf. You just want them to be like, oh, it's a nice little touch. That's nice. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of plop in my ebook. Um, it is a mock-up. I'm going to be adding the the Photoshop file for you to kind of create your own ebooks really easily. It's free. You can do whatever you want with it. Use it, don't use it. Um, there'll also be a little video attached to the project file for you to see how to upload your own um, your own cover art and then export that as an ebook mockup. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here. Let's minimize this guy, and I'm just going to drag and drop him in. There she is. Should be right here. There we go. I think it's still uploading. Oh, there you go. I just missed it. And here she is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bump her up. Something like that could work. And actually, this, this element here is kind of getting lost. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to increase the size of it. Maybe not so much like that, maybe. And I'm just going to drop it down again even more. Let's do like 15. And then I'm just going to put him over here or her, whatever she is, something like that. I actually want this more out like this. And then we'll rotate it like that. Bring her in like that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And ladies and gentlemen, you just created your ebook banner without using a template inside Canva for free, donezos. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do now is I'm going to want to save this. So you can save it however you wanna save it. And then from there, we can share it, we can export it as a, a JPEG or a PNG, whatever you wanna export it as. But this was a quick and dirty template. Quick and dirty template, sorry. A quick and easy, um, example a quick and easy uh, tutorial on how to create an ebook banner with inside of canva quick and dirty if you will right i hope this video helps you out if i miss any steps um, please let me know uh, i'm more than happy to help uh, if you want to kind of dive deeper into canva just let me know and you know i can kind of guide you along the way um, like and subscribe please like and subscribe i can't speak today like and subscribe um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Yeah, baby.